I done some other videos for you guys because I think one of the early fears that landlords have, oh by the way I'm in Berlin, I'm literally finding my train to go to the airport because I'm going to fly to Glasgow, see my mum and dad, and then London, and then Barcelona, and then back to work. So one of the early fears that people have is that um, a, a tenants are going to behave quite badly, it's very rare. But one of the tips I've got for you guys is stay within the communication channels that work best for a landlord. So when a tenant is, well, how they might see it affected and nervous, people, when people are nervous and fright, frightened, if you want to call, I don't mean frightened, but you know what I mean, tenants sometimes feel that they don't have enough power. Um, there's that classic, I'm going to stand here and chat to you guys and then I'm going to take my train. There's that classic thing of fight or flight. And if somebody fights or flights, if they're going to decide to fight, they get a bit aggressive. And what we find is at that point, they start to shout down the phone. Well, my team are managed and employed by a private individual who's very clear that that kind of behaviour isn't allowed. So we always make sure that we have our tenants' contact details in the mobile phone. If a tenant starts getting aggressive or rude or swearing, my team are completely on notice not to answer the telephone to them. What they'll then do is send them a text saying, could you please put everything in writing to this email address. That then allows the tenant to express themselves because we want to hear what they have to say, but it also means A, my team don't get any kind of nonsense, um, uh, you know, over the phone. They don't have any aggression and they're not upset because why should they put up that? But it also means that everything's in writing for, almost for a judge. It almost never goes to a judge, but, by, but because a tenant has to put it in writing um, and therefore it can be witnessed by a third party later, they tend to behave. You know, and, and what it means is that we can then put everything back in writing. So whilst it might take a little bit longer to communicate, it moves it from what I call that EastEnders thing of EastEnders, you know, um, like, I've got to tell you now what I think, to actually, let's sit down, let's think about this, let's construct a polite and respectful email and make sure we communicate so we both understood each other. So you do not need to answer the phone to somebody who, through maybe immaturity or f or kind of um, feeling that they don't have much, as much power, which isn't true by the way, it's an equal relationship, but um, I, I had decided to be really aggressive to you. I would always say move it from the verbal to the written because that's where the landlord's domain is and that's where respectful, polite, long-term conversation is. It's a really good tip by the way. It reduces down aggression tons.